warm welcome to you. If you're comfortable to do so, please do stand. We meet in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please do continue to worship as we sing. into that life of hospitality and welcome. 
uh, may this house proclaim from floor to rafter that all are welcome in this place. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please do be seated. Um, so you should have, not quite yet, next week you'll receive some new notices, but you should have your old notices. Um, they're the ones for the whole of August. If you haven't already received them, they are out on the back. So please do uh, pick those up. I don't think there's anything particularly I want to draw to your attention. Um, but yeah, read, mark, and inwardly digest. Sorry? Next Saturday, the third, not the fourth. Okay, is that in? It's fourth in the notices. It's in the notices, is it? I'm Saturday, fourth. Ah, yes, that's right. So, so the, the work morning is next Saturday, but just in case you were confused, next Saturday is the third, not the fourth. Um, so please do join Simon. Yes, Jane, would you like to come up and give a notice? Oh, no, sorry, just in case people don't know, it's Harrow in Leaf tomorrow. Harrow in Leaf? Yes. What does that mean? It's Harrow Show. Um, Headstone Manor. Manor. Wonderful. So that's for the bank holiday. holiday. And that's at Headstone Manor and in the park and everything like that. So please do um, go and enjoy that. And if you want any more info about that, uh, do ask Jane afterwards. <laughs> Wonderful. So there will be prayer ministry today as usual. Um, and Joan and Pam will stand here uh, during and after communion. If you would like uh, to be prayed for, as we say, if you want to thank God for anything or to ask God for anything, please do make use of that ministry during that time. Uh, just a reminder um, that uh, there's a little uh, leaflet on giving, which is around the place which some of you will have picked up over the weeks. Uh, just a reminder that our collection plate is out, or you can make use of these online giving uh, ways as well. I have some bands to read. And so I publish the bands of marriage between Gifty Fossawa, who is of the parish of Holy Saviour Croydon, and Aaron Boateng, who is of this parish. If any of you know cause or just impediment why these two persons should not be joined together in holy matrimony, you are to declare it. This is the third time of asking. So loving God, we do pray for Gifty and Aaron. We thank you for them, for their relationship. And we ask that they have a fabulous wedding day and that all of the practicalities um, go to plan. And we pray that you are with them in their marriage together. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So we prepare ourselves more intentionally to meet with God by opening our hearts to God and knowing uh, that everything is laid bare and yet God desires to forgive and pour out grace upon us. So we say together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments, 
and to live in love and peace with all. Lord God, we have sinned against you and done evil in your sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Please cleanse us from our sin, renew a right spirit within us, and restore us to the joy of your salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So may God, who loved the world so much that he sent his Son to be our Saviour, forgive us our sins and make us holy to serve him in the world through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 And so rest in that forgiveness. Please do stand as we say the glory of God. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Please do be seated as we have our prayer. Jesus, a 
at a Pharisee's house. One Sabbath, when Jesus went to eat in the house of a prominent Pharisee, he was being carefully watched. When he noticed how the guests picked the places of honour at the table, he told them this parable. When someone invites you to a wedding feast, do not take the place of honour, for a person more distinguished than you may have been invited. If so, the host who invited both of you will come and say to you, Give this person your seat. Then, humiliated, you will have to take the least important place. But when you are invited, take the lowest place, so that when your host comes, he will say to you, Friend, move up to a better place. Then you will be honoured in the presence of all the other guests. For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Then Jesus said to his host, When you give a luncheon or dinner, do not invite your friends, your brothers or sisters, your relatives, or your rich neighbours. If you do, they may invite you back, and so you will be repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed. Although they cannot repay you, you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. So loving God, as ever, may our hearts be open to your word and your word to our hearts this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Please do be seated. So I wonder who you feel like in this story. Are you a guest of honour? Are you the host? Are you wondering why you've even been invited? Uh, Luke, as this comes from Luke's Gospel, um, in particular, it's noted that he is very focused on justice and equality um, between human beings. It is in Luke, that in Luke chapter 4, that we hear the famous Nazareth Manifesto of Jesus, in which he uh, quotes from the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. Sounds like quite a good manifesto for a, for a governing um, body or a government. Um, in the passage, the bit that we missed, as you noticed, we went from 1 to chapter 7, but in the bit that we missed, actually verse 1 rather, says Jesus is at this meal with the Pharisees. Uh, and that chunk that we missed, it tells of Jesus healing a man's hand. And he's doing that on the Sabbath. And the Pharisees, who he was eating with, were watching. But they couldn't quite bring themselves to kind of give permission for what Jesus was doing. To say that this was a good thing that he was doing. They were bound in their rules that had built up over time. They, those rules had moved quite far perhaps, from the intention of those rules. I mean, Pharisees get a bit of a bad rap, I think. Um, they always go, ooh, don't be a Pharisee. <laughs> you know, don't be legalistic, don't just obey the letter of the law, obey the spirit of the law. The Pharisees were a religious group who were, their intention was to be as close to what God was asking of them as possible. Um, but there are ways in which when we do that, we can find ourselves serving the rule 
rather than the intention of the rule. So, for example, with the Sabbath, they had a rule about not working on the Sabbath. Because the Sabbath is for rest and refreshment and wholeness um, before God. That is what the Sabbath is for. They had got to the point where they were restricting what they saw as work, so healing is work, for the sake of it. They'd sort of forgotten what the point of it was. So that when there was someone in front of them who needed a gift of healing and wholeness, which is what the Sabbath was all about, in their world view, where it had gone from what the rules were actually meant to be about, in their world view, the one who was before them asking for healing and wholeness would leave with none. And so sometimes we find that those who are not necessarily suffering themselves <clears throat> and who have the power in that place, in that environment, they're the ones who are keeping that ban on healing on the Sabbath. And they are the ones who have little sacrifice to make based on that rule. When you are in a place of privilege, be careful about the decisions you make and what impact they will have on those who do not have your privilege. Often the privilege that we have is afforded to us, not because of anything we've done, but simply because of an accident of birth. You are rich, you are white, you are educated, you are abled. These things are not intrinsically better or a privilege, but they have become that in our society because they afford us different opportunities. And it isn't just, and it isn't fair. When we start to think, that we have been given this privilege because we are, in fact, better, then Jesus has this story to tell. All who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. It speaks to me of the invitation that we often hear in our society today to check your privilege. And the decisions that you make and what you think of others, especially those who are different to you. Perhaps those who never seem to get to sit at the honoured places of the table. Perhaps this idea challenges us to take the lowest place to sit behind the pillar or in an unseen spot and to not talk so loudly. Or perhaps, depending on who you are in this story, it challenges you that when Jesus comes and says, friend, move up higher, take your place, that you do that as well. Sometimes we sit behind the pillar um, and actually we should take the higher place. But that can be a little bit uncomfortable for us as well. I'm reminded of the movement, particularly in Christian conference circles, to make sure, for example, that women are seen on the speaker's platform, a place around the table to which women have not been invited as a matter of course. Or there is the same challenge to think intentionally about how many black, Asian and minority ethnic people are part of our leadership teams in our churches. Even often in black majority churches in the Church of England, the picture is woeful. Friend, Take your place, move up higher. 
There is a bit of an unwritten story before us today in this as well. Um, and that is when those of us with privilege or who see ourselves or understand ourselves as more important in a particular place choose to sit lower, lower down the table. We may find that this is the place where we stay as others take their place higher up the table. Humbling ourselves may mean that we remain humbled and that can be uncomfortable. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who was the Supreme Court Justice, who died fairly recently um, in the US. She was famous for her position in that place as a woman, as a Jewish woman, and for her advocacy for women. She said this, to those accustomed to privilege, equality feels like oppression. As a white woman, um, I might share the experience of sexism, but I sometimes miss the small acts of racism uh, that my black and brown sisters experience regularly, what are called microaggressions, and are like the slow but sure erosion of rock by a dripping underground water course. And whilst I know this in my head to be true, that racism like this does affect the opportunities or the representation of black and brown people in this country, it might be uncomfortable to me to offer my place or not to take a place unless there is better representation to choose not to sit at a panel at a table if I am just another white person, another white voice there. We might think the same about other voices that need to be at the table and are not, who need to be heard. Those who do not traditionally get a higher place at the table for whatever reason or perhaps any place at the table. Humbling ourselves may mean that we remain humbled by our choice in the <coughs> privilege, as we say with our actions that others must now take the higher place. And it may or may not be a comfort to you that we make these choices, all of us make these choices, in light of the one who washed his disciples' feet and who walked towards the cross with a face set like flint. So, who are you in this story today? The host? An honoured guest? Wondering why you've been invited at all? I wonder what the places are in your walk with God where you have been left without a seat at the table. Friend, move up higher. I wonder where are the tables that you need to leave so that others may take their place. Where you have the privilege of being able to say, friend, Move up higher. And I wonder what are the seats that you need to say yes to, even when you think you are not good enough, not the right person, not important enough. Where you need to hear Jesus say, Friend, move up higher. Please would you stand? <laughs>
we stand, let's proclaim together the God in whom we believe. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made for our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Um, please give me secret for our interceptions. Response this morning when I say, Lord, in your mercy, please respond here and there. Let us pray. Bless to you, Lord your God, for you sent your Son to set us free from sin and death. You offer us the glorious liberty of the children of God. Help us to reveal your love and your freedom in the way we live and deal with each other. Bless to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We give thanks for all who have found newness of life and the power to start again in Christ Jesus, who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We ask that our church may, may continue to be welcoming and friendly to newcomers and invite them to share in our fellowship. We pray for the work of prison and hospital students. <coughs> we ask your blessing on all who are seeking to be faithful to your word, especially any who are being persecuted for their faith. We pray for the leaders of the church, especially for Sarah and Lisa, our bishops, for our clergy, Jody and Pam, our pastoral team, our leadership team, and the PCC here at St. Michael's. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for all works of renewal and restoration. We pray for all who seek to bring peace to families, communities, or to the world. We pray for an improvement in the way in which people use the resources you have provided for them. We pray for a reduction in the overuse or wastage of water, gas, electricity and other forms of fuel. May we remember that many people in your world do not have the benefit of clean water, sanitation or electricity. We pray for those organisations who work to provide clean water and improve sanitation for those in your world who need them. Help us to remember when we use these resources that there are many who do not have the benefits that we enjoy. We pray for those who work in the rehabilitation of drug abusers and prisoners. We ask for a blessing of all the work for freedom and justice in our world. Lord, in your mercy. We give thanks for the community to which we belong and for all who maintain its well-being.
pray for our local council and for the organisations that help to enhance our world. We ask your blessing on our families, friends and neighbours. We pray for those organisations which seek to help those in our community. The Harrow Food Bank, the Harrow Street Pastors, the Firm Foundation, or the Credit Union. Help us to support them in their work. We pray for wholeness of life for everyone. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all who have lost their freedom through tyranny or war. We pray especially for the situation in Ukraine and for the governments who are working to bring about the resolution of this conflict and peace. We remember all political prisoners and all those who have escaped the dangers facing them and those who are in refugee camps. We pray for all who are prisoners of vice or drugs. We ask your blessing on all who suffer from a physical or mental handicap. We pray for all who are housebound or in hospital. We ask your blessing on all those named on our notice sheet, for our friends and those we know who are ill, having treatment, and those recovering from treatment. We pray for the bereaved, especially for the family of Harry the Bristol. In a moment of silence, we pray for those known to us personally. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. We rejoice in the fellowship of all your saints. We commend ourselves and our loved ones departed to your love and look forward to the freedom of your eternal kingdom. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Please would you stand as we share Christ's peace with one another. Let love be genuine, never pay back evil for evil. As far as it lies with you, live at peace with everyone. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let's offer one another a sign.
so that we, in the company of all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father.
Lord of all mercy, we, your faithful people, have celebrated that one true sacrifice which takes away our sins and brings pardon and peace by our communion. Keep us firm on the foundation of the gospel and preserve us from all sin through Jesus Christ our Lord. And now we pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. And so the peace of God which passes all understanding Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Do join in our class.